Welcome to a new video of the parts channel, well, I'm going to make a video to explain why you do not have to disconnect the battery to change a sensor, for example the camshaft sensor, the crankshaft sensor, the map sensor, the sensor flowmeter, this is a Peugeot he engine, it started well cold but not hot, it did not start, it was going to start it with the engine hot and it did not start, it did not start, I had to wait time. I am going to leave you a link of how to check it, because these are symptoms of failure of the camshaft sensor, I have a video of how to check it easily, without a machine, that sensor, well the fact is that this man went to buy the camshaft sensor just in case, and the one with the crankshaft and what he did was disconnect the battery, what happened? Question mark when he mounted them, he put them on, because it turns out that the car would not start, he did not want to start even when cold, and well, he started messing around, here, cutting cables, measuring with the multimeter, etc, etc, total that could not find the error, what was the failure of this vehicle? Question mark, precisely that when disconnecting the battery while buying the sensors, the AQ was reset, then the problem that existed is that the immobilizer fault jumped in the car, no longer recognized the keys, and of course, we put it in the machine and the old fault that the vehicle had came out a failure of the camshaft sensor, that was already corrected. Because the sensor had changed, but hey, then we had to join cables, of course, but the problem that remained, that had to be repaired, was the failure of the immobilizer, okay. That's why I tell you, if you have to change or you want to change it, the camshaft sensor, or the crankshaft or flow meter, or sensor map, do not disconnect the battery, it is not necessary to disconnect the battery to remove and put a sensor of these, ok, because there. I leave the video, if it has helped you do not forget to give a like and subscribe to the channel.